discussion. I think one of them we've already discussed, and he says he's satisfied on that issue. One of them, but I'll just let him bring him up on um, his own facilities. Well, on the uh, as we already discussed on the uh, on the EOC Emergency Operations Center, I had asked Joe and uh, Chad McLeod, Dan Dan Weeks, and uh, Ashton Tyler. You know, gather information on the feasibility of moving the 911 center to the EOC. Uh, look at trying to put that building in use and all that we've kind of maxed out the 911 center. After looking at all of that, I don't know if that, don't think that's feasible to do right now, either financially or logistically, with the type of building we got. So that answers that and saves us some time on that issue. I don't know how the rest of the commission feels individually at different times about it. I, I am encouraged and I've asked um, Joe and, uh, and Ashley if there are ways to utilize that building more, to put that building in use more for other things besides a disaster. And uh, I'm, I'm satisfied here with the use of the building. We've already discussed uh, the old courthouse and I don't think we can do anything with that until we decide on renovations and to me it'd be premature to say let's go put somebody in there until the thing renovated and uh, we don't know what timeline that how that's going to take you know, it's on funds coming in and, and the uh, restoration committee doing their work so <coughs> I prefer not to go any further on that right now but, but was there something else there that those are the two uh, things I, yeah actually about. I just wanted to give you give you your opportunity, but actually through the other process that we've gone through, those items have already been we've got the rest of them. Yeah. Uh, uh, there was something else. You wanted to rotate? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You did want to mention, and actually, I don't I don't have it on the agenda, so there's no information that's available. All uh, good. But uh, John did call me. You did leave me a message. I'm sorry, I didn't get a call on the message until earlier this morning. But uh, about some discussion about uh, the signs and sign the ordinance for Lambs County, which you yeah. find in the ULDC. Um, you know, let, let me let me if I can. And I, I, you know, I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but let, let me uh, <coughs> explain the process with the ULDC. When the ULDC and the 2030 plan was, was put together, uh, I as a private citizen at that time had the opportunity to work through that process of putting the ULDC together. Realizing that before somebody has to come in, they have to have put that model together, uh, you get community input, which I hope the, every, the county did a great job of getting all that done, and so then you created this document that's a guideline for um, that you're going to follow as far as development and ordinances and those sort of things. It took a bunch of, a lot of other ordinances and different things that was out there and it brought it all into basically under one binder. And by doing that, it makes it a lot easier for everybody to understand how, where to go and find the, the, the issues that they want to look at. The one thing that I've always said about ULDC from the county standpoint is that we've always, we were always told at that point is that it was a living document. In other words, it's not something that was designed that was in concrete. This is the way it's going to be. This is something you can always take off the shelf. You can review it as staff goes through different portions of it and they have to address it. If they find um, certain ordinances that, that that, that creates confrontation and is not uh, community friendly or even creates hardships one way or the other, they bring those issues consistently. First, the first step would be is that they identify them, staff goes through them, makes the decision, yes, this needs to be looked at. Uh, and the process has always been in the past that you bring it to the planning commission, the planning commission reviews the whole process, uh, votes on it to support it, what have you, and of course it comes to the commissions to make the change. 
all of that said, all, with all that said, is that if there is a concern, an issue with, and I'll say the sign ordinance or any other ordinance in the ULDC, it is something that can be addressed. It needs to be taken down, <coughs> take a look at it, you can put a group together of, of um, uh, stakeholders and have it taken a look at. Uh, I would caution, and I'll, and I'll say this, I would caution about trying to go in there and change an ordinance out of one or two requests from an individual. You have to always be careful about that. It, it, it's that it needs to be industry friendly. It needs to be a, a joint effort by the industry or by the associated group, whether it be builders, developers, what have you, has input to creating something that both sides can work with and it can be a positive for our community. Um, with that said, uh, I think the issue that you're talking about, we can take a look at the ordinance and see if there's any hardships there. And, and, um, and I strongly suggest that we do that. I agree we don't need to just amend something because of one person. I know Crawford and I have gotten calls from this one individual about a particular uh, issue with um, in our district about uh, the billboard. But, I do think it's something we need to look at whether we want single stack billboards or double stack billboards. Uh, I think we have a limitation on space well, of the sign. I mean, those kind of things. Let's don't get in. Let's don't right now. Let's don't get into the basics of the of it, But I want us to, to look at the overall use of it because there is a trend from planning. You know, having to serve on planning commission with you, we see it. But there's a trend to get it. Some planners had their way, they wanted to get all the billboards in, you know, don't want to go that far, but then you just don't want to clutter it everywhere either, but you destroy property value. So I do think it's something we, we ought to I do. think that, again, the idea is to take, get the document back down, like I said, get the document back down. Everybody get a copy of that particular ordinance, look at it, see what the, get your input from it, and then we can, then we can, uh, we have a consensus that it needs to be looked at and, Change the bank the Can we ask I'm sorry, how long ago? Well, I, I discussed it a couple of years ago, but we never did anything with it. Well, we, no, we did, because I think Jason and some other folks, we, cause we did look at the ULDC uh, whenever you and I, whatever year you and I first came in. We did a survey, you saw the crime, and that y'all, at that time, felt that uh, perhaps ULDC was not representative of the desires of the community, whether it be the citizens or whether it be developers or so forth. And we did do a survey of it and found that uh, there was practically zero negative response from the responders. Now, who I will survey. say that who was who was the survey? Yeah. Who was sir, who, were, who was the survey sent to? It was sent to the developers. And anyone who had ever filled out an application um, within a certain time, um, uh, stand for zoning, or come to a TRC meeting or something like that. There were several thousand. It went through the, the last uh, 18 months or something. There were several thousand that were sent out, and we only received two negative feedback comments. And one of them was not related to the ULDC. It was related to the well, and, and I couldn't, to be honest with you, I couldn't remember what, what the process, you know, how it ended up where it was at, but y'all recall uh, in the prior life, I also I served with the chamber on their solar committee, which was special omnibus response team. Part of what they were charged to do was for the city, look at the LDR county and the ULDC, to see if those two documents at the time were business friendly. Um, and, and I can just tell you what SORT did. SORT brought together as each topic was, was had been brought to the chamber, these topics were brought up and then SORT looked at it, met with stakeholders to say, do you have issues with this? I will tell you, you know, we looked at the LDR and we looked at probably the LDR more so than we did any other document. The feedback that we consistently got from the citizens and from business people in this community that they 
really did not have any issues with the ULDC. And at that point, it was a good doctor. And we specifically had a set group that addressed the signed ordinances, individual, independent, and brought in stakeholders from signed companies in this community and sat down and looked at those issues. And it was, in their opinion, a good, clean document and something that you could work with. And this isn't to disparage you, but if you take somebody in an industry like the signs, for example, and we start changing something about signs, they may not want that because they might want to shut out their competitors or <clears throat> leave it like it is because they already have a market here and don't want anyone else to have a market. If we start restricting signs and billboards, then they've already got but they've already got a market here. Are you looking at this issue because you've had a business Absolutely. industry individual come to you? I have. I have. That's what I'm saying. So who doesn't I think who doesn't it, who's having some issues and we don't need to get into the specifics right. of here. But, but uh, yeah, we're not going to get into we're the specifics not. of that issue. <laughs> but reality is is that the ULDC, if if you feel like that it needs to be looked at, then get the ULDC, get you a copy of the ordinance, study it. And then see where you think you might have issues. You know, just to expedite things, I like to ask Joe if he could ask Jason just to give us a copy. We don't need the whole thing. You know, it's a big, big notebook. But on this particular issue about on the, sign, on the signs and more specifically billboards, and just make it available to us, all the commissioners. Carmelo is yeah. actually the person responsible for that. Okay. Right. Right. That's so, it. Yeah, okay. move on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um.